Greetings, Extreme Force here, and welcome back to another video. Yes, I know, like two in two days. Believe me, I uh, I just felt a calling as soon as I did, did my new did, did, blah, 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 did my new channel art. So yeah. So anyway, what are we doing today? What are we What are we doing in this video? We are going to be taking a look at grenades in vanilla Minecraft. Now I know that this is a um, Interesting thing, there are definitely mods for this, and I'm sure, you know, you can put them on a bucket server or something like that, but I wanted to do it with command blocks, and I think I really have done it pretty compactly, as you can tell, just five command blocks running the whole thing, so without further ado, let's show you what they do. Okay, so as you can see, I have my grenade right here, and I'm in the middle of a crater area. Obviously, you know why, but here, let me just get a few more of these, and then I'll show you how they work. So, if I just drop this on the So, if I just drop a... Yeah, they blow stuff up, but as you can see, they are not strong enough to break through stone. So... That's sort of the plus. It's less of a destructive grenade and more like a player combat grenade. So let me just get in a few zombies here. So as you can see, I've got a little command block prepped here, ready to summon in our zombies. So if I just crouch, put my button down, and hit it, as you'll see, I get a couple nice big zombies. Oh, okay, that's more than I thought. <laughs> summoned in a bit more zombies than probably deemed necessary, but that's okay. You know what? The, the, the zombies. But the infestation has been taken care of by my handy dandy grenade things. So yeah, so let's get to the redstone behind these guys. Alright, so this first command block here serves a very simple function, and that is testing for the cold. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty lengthy command, but basically what it does is it tests for an item that has a specific enchantment and a specific name, aka grenade. And when it finds that item, it gives that item a score of coal one. So that's telling the system this is a grenade. So that way the command blocks know what to do with it. In the next command block, we have a command that executes at that item and summons a creeper with the custom name of grenade and a smaller explosion radius so it doesn't do as much damage and it summons it with a fuse so it basically instantly dies so it explodes on contact now why do we use creepers because tnt is not able to be turned off by doom mob griefing and so i would like my grenades to not do block damage if you're playing in a multiplayer map and be able to be customizable. So, it also, and also without, without TNT, with TNT you cannot customize the explosion power of it. So, it is a lot easier and more customizable to use creepers. The next command block simply gives that creeper invisibility so you don't see it. Now obviously there are visual bugs where that happens and I can't really get rid of that, but this makes sure that you only see it for a tiny amount of time, so that way it looks like your nade is actually your nade. The next command block basically says, give anybody with a score of coal, um, min equals one, so score of coal one, G time note, adds, so it basically keeps giving them out and it counts it down. Now the reason for this is so the coal is killed when it lands on the ground, so it's not just a sitting piece of coal there. And it also doesn't generate infinite explosions, because we don't want that either. And this command block executes the second part of that. Alright, so I know that explanation was a little bit um, unclear for you, and um, I haven't shown you the command blocks or the commands. So, I am going to now build it with you. Now just so you know, this has taken me like 30 tries to record this clip, so let's hope I can get it right this time. Anyway, so the first thing you want to do is add two scoreboard objectives to the game. Now you can do this with the following command. Scoreboard, 
objectives add and then the name of your objective for me I'm going to be using coal see I'm trying to type it there we go coal but again you can rename it to whatever you want just remember that difference when you're crafting your command block and then you want to do dummy so it has to be a dummy objective or the system will not work so boom there you go now do the same thing with the second objective your timer objective i recommend naming it g timer but you can name it whatever you want so again same command now once you've added your two objectives you're going to place a command block down and inside that command block you're going to type the following command and this command will also be in the description so let's scoreboard objectives players set at e type equals item the name of your first objective one now this basically says any item that any item in the world has to get a score of coal one now once it's done that you're going to go item and then again this tag is to specify what item we need id minecraft coal count 1b damage 0s so again if you're using coal this is the tag you want to use you can customize all these variables depending on what item you're using however in this first area you want to put the name of your item and there are plenty of websites where you can look that up then you always want to have this be count 1b and unless you're using an item that's something like a different type of wood or a different type of glass you want to keep it at damage 0s. So once you've done that, you want to add your name. So with the tag, we will put tag and then display name and then whatever you want to name it. Obviously for me, I'm going to call it grenade and you want to put this in quotations. Then you're going to want to close this and then do enchant. Now this, just do what I'm doing here and I'll explain why in a minute. So just enchant like that, then close this, close this, do on ground 1B, then close the entire MBT tag, and then set this command to repeat, always active. And now this should work. Now I have prepped a command over here to give me the coal I need, but for you, if you're using a different coal or if you're doing a different objective, you will need a different command. But again, this command will also be in the description. So now that I have the, the coal, I'm going to test this command by setting the scoreboard objective coal To the sidebar so I can see when an entity gets the NBT tag coal. So as you can see this an entity has now got a coal score of 1. Now once it has that it is now good to go. So that is proof that you are ready to move on to the next command. Alright so the next command is easier, much easier. In fact every command after this will be much easier. But you're going to want to place down a command block that's being pointed into by the previous command block, so this one, set it to chain, always active, and then you're going to type this command. So, slash execute, again, I'll put it in the description, at E, score, coal, min equals one. Now again, this is your first objective, so whatever you want it to be. And then do your tilde, slash summon, creeper, so if you're, again, just follow along with me, this is how you're going to create your explosion. Now, I am not going to explain to you how to summon your explosion, just do as I do. Because if you want to make grenades like I have, this is what you have to do. So, custom name, then grenade. Again, you can name it whatever you want, but I recommend grenade or something that you can remember. Then you're going to do explosion radius one and then you're going to do fuse zero now again if you want the explosion radius to be bigger or smaller 
you can change this one from one to like 10 if you want it to, but I just recommend one. And now that you've done that, you should see that this indeed works, but we're not gonna test that right now because we have a few more commands to do. So the next command is simply giving that creeper invisibility. And once again, you want to make sure this command block right here is facing into this one. So, and this is true of all of them. So now once you start it out, you want to click chain, always active. And now you're going to type the following command. This command will make it invisible. So again, this is one of those do as I do. Effect, at me, name equals whatever you named your creeper, in my case, grenade. Grenade. And then you're going to do Minecraft. Invisibility. Okay, this is like the spelling bee right here trying to spell invisibility. If I messed up the spelling, yeah. You know, it, 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 yeah. Moving on. So then you're just gonna put 1010. 10, just make your easy and then add true. And this will make the effect particles not show up. So there you go. There's another bonus tip you learned from this video. Now that should mean that when your creeper spawns, it should go immediately invisible. Obviously, lag may destroy that effect, but you know that's kind of life. All right, the next command we're going to do is the command that is going to kill your item when it's on the ground. So what you're going to want to do is add a command block right here. Same rule applies, facing into each other, the chain and always active. And then what you're going to do is scoreboard, players, add, at E, score, the name of your first objective, min equals one. G timer, the name of your second objective, obviously for me, G timer, one. Now that's all you need to do. And then finally, for your last command, you're going to want to do um, another chain always active block, as I just did. Kill at E. Score the name of your second objective, min equals one. So that's really quite simple. And now your grenade should be worked. Time for testing. Thank you guys so much for watching this brand new tutorial I have made. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, Leave a friendly comment down below telling me what you like about it and what you want me to do in the future. And if you didn't enjoy it, please leave a comment telling me why you didn't. So that way I can make my videos better in the future. And yeah, don't forget, like, comment, like, subscribe. You like and subscribe if you liked it. You know what I mean? But anyway, I will see you guys next time. And bye! <laughs>